Hey guys, Jen here from Main and Sits and Sits and Be Scented. I am getting ready to make some soap. So I thought I would bring you guys along. Um, the first soap I'm going to make is Raspberry Lemonade. Um, and I'm super excited. It smells really good. Um, so here's all my hard oils. I've got my liquid oils here and I'm going to mix up my life solution and I'll be right back. Okay, so I, I hope you have good light. Um, it's raining here and so it's really uh, dreary outside but um, hopefully we're still getting good light coming in the window. I'm about getting ready to pour my lye solution in. So I'm just going to pour it in nice and slowly. So I have an idea with this raspberry lemonade. I personally don't like salt bars or spa bars. Um, I have very sensitive skin and I find them to be um, a little harsh or not really harsh I just don't like them for me personally but I know people like salt bars so I need I want to be able to provide for um, other people so for this raspberry lemonade soap I'm thinking in my pink color um, like I'm going to divide it off and in my pink section I'm going to add salt um, Himalayan salt, pink salt, and hopefully, um, it'll kind of be like a mix of a salt bar, um, now salt actually kills the bubbles, so I was thinking using my, maybe using my normal soap that I love, my normal batch of oils, and portioning off part of it and adding salt to that part it would be okay if that part didn't bubble well because the rest of the soap will and then maybe I'll get the benefit of both worlds of having a salt bar plus my really moisturizing recipe so I'm going to try it and see how it does and I thought you know raspberry lemonade smells phenomenal so we're going to do that um, as you can see this right I've been talking for what two minutes uh, three minutes maybe two and a half whatever and this is about completely um, melted now I use like ice water to make my life solution that way it doesn't get quite as hot um, because you know this is quite warm yeah, I'm gonna add my liquid oils yes but this is quite hot so I don't want it to get too, too, too hot. So I don't soak too hot. I'm saying too hot. Sorry. Alright. And I know what I forgot. I forgot my paper towels. That's okay. I'll just have to make do with the one sitting on the side. For this batch. And then I'll run and grab my paper towels. I was sitting here making sure I had everything and I was like, I brought my dishes out from being washed and uh, from the last batches that I made and then I was like, oh man, I forgot paper towels, but I'd already started, so what to do, you know? So you just go with it. Alright. So, I'm going to stick blend that little bitty booger right there that just didn't quite want to get in there. And we're going to put in our oils. I need to next time I do this this way, um, pour my liquid oils in a bit bigger of a container. These are just about like too small. I mean it works, but they're super full. This is my rice bran and my castor. And then I have shea butter, avocado, or yes, avocado butter. Um, I've got 
rice bran. I said that already. Palm, coconut. Um, I think that's it. I don't think I'm missing anything. All right, I'm gonna push this off to the side. And we're gonna give this a little judge. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna divide it off. We'll do the main batch like a yellow. So I'm going to, this is what I put my kale and clay in. You can get these at the dollar store. I hate trying to divide to get it out of those bags. And it comes with this nifty spoon. It's two tablespoons. So I put a nice big scoop in there. Same with my oatmeal. Use the same container for my oatmeal. And then lots of people you ask where I get my heavy cream. Comes in a big container like this. You get I get it on Amazon. I find using the cream powder works better for me because I can go several months and not soak. So I hate buying, um, uh-oh. I hate buying cream that we don't use in the house and then for it just to go bad. My table has been cleaned. It's a bit dinged up, um, but it's been cleaned. I always clean it for ever soap. I'm a bit lonely. It's okay, but all right. So this is the portion that I'm going to pour off, and I'm going to do my pink, and we're going to add the salt. This portion we're going to do yellow. You know. Lemonade, so I'm going to use Goldenrod Mica from Be Scented. I better get my fragrance in just a second. I won't pause you. I didn't measure it out like a silly person, but that's okay. I made this in wax tarts. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Smells phenomenal. All right, so put the majority of it in there. All right. I lined my molds today uh, with, I made one test batch yesterday. Uh, I did sandalwood. I did not make a video of it, but I lined my molds with press and seal because my mother-in-law gave me like four huge rolls of press and seal and I'm like, I wonder if I can do this. And I did a tester yesterday and it worked. I will stick blend this in a minute. So yeah. So I lined them with press and seal today. So I'm going to do wild strawberry in here. And this is where we're gonna put our salt. I 
right. A little clumpy. You can get pink salt from several places. All right. I think we'll do one more. Eh, a little bit more. You can be more precise than I'm being. Um, but I just want that portion to be very salty. I don't know how this is going to turn out, honestly. No idea. Never tried it before. Nice and gritty. Most salt bars have a high coconut oil content, like 80%, and then you do the rest. Um, oil, butter, whatever you want. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with this or not. That looks pretty good. Salt helps speed up your trays. But I did want to stick on this one just a little. Sorry for the banging. My camcorder now sets on the table that I'm working on. When I worked in the house, it did not. So. is one of my hubby's molds, the new ones. Um, they are awesome. This is the tall skinny one. going to chopstick swirl it when I'm done here. how that does. See, that's why I need more paper towels. I always make a mess. Definitely will be stopping after this one and going to get my paper towels. Now the mold's super full. 
If it was really liquidy, you may have to wait to put the rest of your soap on. Hey guys, we are back to start cutting our soap. And I hope you can see well. Grabbing some paper towels. Um, so yesterday, okay. I can't remember the first one I made. I think it was the salt bar. I'm really nervous um, to cut it because you guys know that, you see here, you guys know that salt bars get extremely hard. Um, let me, I'm going to sit down here so I can see that you guys can see. Oh. Okay. Um, but what I was saying is that you know that salt bars get extremely hard and are hard to cut. Ooh, wow. So I was really nervous cutting, getting, you know, it's just really, okay, I can tell it's very hard, but it's cutting okay. You guys see that? See that how shiny the salt bar part is? It smells awesome. I'm just gonna put my bars back here. I'm sitting um, in front of my window on the table because I've got candle making stuff going on over at my stove. Oh wow, I love this. You see that? I feel like holding it, I mean, it's kind of dark. Look how shiny that is. That is just neat. I feel like, give me a minute. I feel like I need to give you guys some more light. I'm just not sure how. I have this little light here. If I plug it up over here, I feel like it's not going to be good. See, I need it on this side, not back here. That ruins it. Let's see, if that makes it worse, I can't tell. <laughs> There's a glare. Yeah, I don't think that makes it better. I don't know, we'll just have to go with it. And I hope that you guys can see okay. Got soap on my shirt. Yes, it's very um, stiff to cut where the uh, salt is, but it's fabulous, it's working. It's just... Yeah, you can't see great. You guys. Mm. I really smell the lemon and the lemonade. Turned out so pretty. I may have to do the camera differently. Hold on, I have an idea. All right, I know it's a totally weird angle because you're above me, but I'm hoping I'm gonna show you the soap and you can see it well. And I think you can. Where am I? What is that glare? What's this? Gosh. How pretty. My hybrid soap. That's what I've been calling it. A hybrid. <laughs> Turned out great. Oh gosh. It's really hard to cut. I got right here. I've got some yellow. That didn't get mixed really, really well. I 
just love it. It's turned out better than I thought it would. Yesterday I was like totally nervous all day because I didn't know, you know, if I would be able to cut it or if it would break into a million pieces, you know, or what. But my hybrid soap is beautiful. Look how pretty that bar is. Let's try the, I'll get this all right eventually. You know, once the cutting's over, then we'll have this all right. Yeah, look how pretty. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. I hear somebody walking in my house. Last bar. We'll talk to you later.